Lynn Chaplow was one of thousands who had their electronic tax return information hacked last year. So when Lynn went to sign up for CSID for her and her boyfriend, whose information was also compromised. Put him in first and his went through without a, without a catch and then I went for me and it said that I couldn't be determined to be eligible on the computer that I had to call a phone number. When she called, the lady took my information and she told me that I would need a PIN number to get into the system and that someone would call me back within 48 hours. But two days turned into two weeks. Lynn hadn't heard back, so she called again and was told. He said, you're not the only one. And then he said, actually, there's a very long list. Brian Yelm, vice president of product and marketing at CSID, says there are around 320 people on that list. And as for people like Lynn, who have been told they need a PIN code to sign up. There is actually a PIN code behind the scenes that we're using to get um, someone that wasn't on our list originally now into the program. We're using a PIN code behind the scenes, but the, the in-state taxpayer doesn't need to know about the term PIN code nor enter it nor have to be um, provided it or return it. Instead of a PIN code, Yelm says Lynn is waiting for the Department of Revenue to investigate whether she's eligible based on their records. Reporting in Myrtle Beach, April Baker, WPDE News Channel 15.